Hey guys, Kristen Levine here for Pet Living at Super Zoo with my good friend Gina Dial from John Paul Pet. And we're here to tell you that it is June is National Wash Your Dog Month. And uh, why is that and why did you create the event? We created it because there was no celebration of shampoos <laughs> at all. <laughs> and we and, celebrate everything, so we've got we to celebrate shampoo. It. And it's so much fun to go outside with your dog and the hose. Yeah. and shampoo and shampoo them outside they can shake they can have fun they can roll in the grass and so we decided we needed to make june national wash your dog month i love it i love it and it's also a way to educate people about really great products for your pets right. when you want to bathe your pet so we're going to talk about some botanical products that john paul pet has now and they're amazing and they have incredible benefits so let's let's show them what we've okay. got over here okay all right now so First of all, Gina, tell me why are botanicals important? Botanicals are important because they have so many benefits yeah. and they're also natural. Yeah. And botanicals are plant-based and they grow in the ground. And when plants are in the ground, they have to have some sort of defense against the insects or they wouldn't live very long. Right. So they all contain natural insect repelling compounds. Okay. And with that, when we extract the oils from these plants, they take that property with them. So when you're talking about botanicals that actually grow in the ground, that are in these shampoos and yep. preparations for pets, they have their own natural flea and tick, I'm right. going to say, repelling properties. Gotcha. That's fantastic. Yes. Good to know. Yes. So walk us through the different formulas, with, okay. starting with the white, the white ginger, or wild ginger, wild sorry, ginger. wild ginger. Wild ginger is a product and it's, uh, it's wild ginger is from the Awapui plant. It comes from the root of the wild ginger plant, which is called Awapui, okay. grown in Hawaii. I remember I used to buy Awapui shampoo from Palmetto. That's you did. Boom. You did. And, and it smells amazing. Like ginger. Yes, it, it does. It smells wonderful. It is, um, and because that particular plant is a succulent, which huh? means it draws water from the air, yep. it's a moisturizer. It's going to bring ah, water so good to for the skin. skin and coat. Okay, great. Exactly. Awesome. Plus, it smells great. Okay, and by the way, there. Okay, so we have the shampoo and the shine spray too. We have the shine so spray. So, how does the shine is, spray work? It's a leave-in conditioner. Okay, good. And we found that when you're bathing your cat in the tub, sometimes it's all you can do <laughs> to get them rinsed one time. Right. So, right, if you right. want to uh, do a conditioner, it's better to do it later. Get them out of the tub, dry them yeah. off a little bit. It's easier to just spray them. I love that. On, while they're wet, comb it through. Or you can use it when they're dry as well and oh, it's okay. going to just in you know between shampoo a, a little, little bit. bit more moisture yeah it helps them a little bit more. okay all right so how about the tea tree tea tree is a great product everybody knows about tea tree uh -huh. it's an antifungal mm -hmm. and it's also an antibacterial it's used a lot for soothing hot spots okay. and our particular uh, shampoo has eucalyptus in it as well and eucalyptus okay. is another insect repelling fragrance it's very right. sharp it's very pungent and they don't like it okay. so again you're working with something that can help soothe the skin mm -hmm. but also help help prevent fleas and to repel the bugs yeah okay exactly. and then the most popular is lavender the lavender mint. mint and lavender mint has a great story because uh -huh. lavender on its own is um, a soother it also is an insect repellent. If you remember the lavender sachets yes. that your grandmother used to have in the closets and in the drawers uh -huh. to keep the moths and the bugs. Right, out. and I always thought it was just to make the closet smell good. No, but <laughs> what do I know? That moth thing. Okay, okay. You know? <laughs> and uh, so it is uh, number one. It's an insect repellent. Number two, it's an inhalant. And we pair it with mint, and mint is a uh -huh. vasodilator. Right. And that, what that means is it dilates the blood vessels. Most are in the nose and the ears of a dog. Nose and okay. ears of the, the vasodilator. And you were t telling me earlier that it's kind of like when you have an Altoid, Altoid mint, you get that sudden rush yes. of, um, and it helps. It feels you like you can breathe better. Exactly. It helps mm -hmm. you breathe better because it's a vasodilator. Okay. It doesn't constrict. It opens right. up. Gotcha. And so for a pet, especially an anxious pet, you've got the mint and the lavender so the mint is going to enable the lavender to get right. into their blood system uh, faster right and uh, it'll calm them down so we have awesome. that but lavender also then is a topical soother so it's something you can use on the skin as well so mm -hmm. this is an inside out type of benefit it's inside the pet sure. and outside i the love pet. that yeah. i love Peggy that from Jarvis and springs wants to know if you could use it on humans Hey, you absolutely, because all of our products are 
tested on humans, but pH balance for pets. They are milder than human products. So yes, I always say, if you want to buy only one thing, you can use it on you and your pets. Yeah. It's the pet product. Right. Because and explain why you wouldn't want to use the human product on your pet. Because um, pets have 50 times more olfactory receptors in their nose, which and we don't, mm -hmm. which means that it has to be stronger to be effective for us, but very, very mild for them. And you can actually poison your pet. Uh, I'm gonna say poison. Make them sick. Yeah. If you use too much on them, and we get a lot of this questions. Is just overwhelming to their senses. Too much for them. Yeah. Because okay. remember, 50 times more. Right. When they inhale something. Right. Than us. So you have to be very, very careful. Yeah. And everything has to be very mild. For but Peggy, um, Gina was telling me that there, the, there is a companion product on the human side. Correct. Yes. Okay. All of these products, wild ginger, tea tree, and lavender mint, come from the Paul Mitchell line. Because the gal who uses Paul Mitchell is the same demographic who buys pet grooming products. Sure. Um, I would go into my whole thing about guys and what they choose, but let's start with <laughs> women. Women want the best, and they want what they're using yeah. for their pets. And so gotcha. what we've done is we've taken these products from the Paul Mitchell line, and we've pH balanced them for pets. So now you can buy one for you, and you can have the same one for your pet, but it's safe for your pet. Right. Awesome. And if you can only buy one, buy the one for your pet. And use yes, it on both of you. Yes, and use it on both of you. Awesome. Save Love money. Love it. Love it. Now tell us where we can find these amazing products. Products are available on Amazon.com. They are in Petco. They are in Pet Supplies Plus, and they are on Chewy.com. Yep. So easy to find. Check them out, and definitely wash your dog this week with the botanicals and all the benefits of